Good morning. I'm blooming starving. Done the dishes. Loaded the dishwasher. It's 9 a.m. Bab's taking the kiddos to school with Alexander. He's not got school. It's just Athena today. Um, last day of school for her today. And so, yeah, I've got a free house. House party! Um, if you missed that, I said house party. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to go and get my favourite breakfast and then come back and get on with it because we have our last day of holiday prep. I'm so excited. So, 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 so excited. Yeah, I can't quite get my head around it. I've actually woken up with a really odd pain above my eye. I think it's my sinuses still. Um, Long story short, I, oh my God, how, where do we, I feel like we should get away from the washing machine, dishwasher. Um, just a little health update from me. So I, 10 years ago, found out that I have a, well, I found a little like lump in my eyeball socket, if you will, like above, well, like in, in sort of below my brow bone in there, like. In there. You can't see it or anything. I could just feel it when I was putting cream on or something. Um, went to the doctor. He said, listen, if it doesn't bother you, just leave it alone. So it didn't bother me, touch wood, for 10 years till after I had Athena. And then I noticed, oh, that's gotten bigger. So I had, had to have an MRI of my head, CT scan of my head. Um, and in the process of all of that, they found that I have a sinus infection. And this was a few weeks ago, and I had no symptoms for a sinus infection. Mind you, I've had issues with my nose my whole life, and that I'm one of those people that always has a blocked nose, yada, yada, yada. So I'm just kind of used to it. So, and they gave me antibiotics and stuff for my sinus infection, but I was more concerned about the eye lump and et cetera. So I don't just take, I know it sounds silly, but I didn't take the antibiotics. I'm not big on antibiotics. So, um, Back to the eye lump, the eye, the ophthalmologist wanted me to have my thyroid investigated because there's a connect, there can be a connection. And it turns out that, yep, again, touch wood, I have a, at the moment, non, what's the word? Sinister appearing nodule on my thyroid, which they believe has caused this gland that I have in both my eyes, that we all have, but mine are like slightly bigger than they should be because of my thyroid. Magical. It's all great. Touch wood, touch wood. I mean, I'm very, very grateful that it's at the stages that, that it's where it is and that it's not worse. So yes. Um, but my point, my point being, I had have sinus antibiotics and meds and nose spray and stuff that they'd given me that I never took. So I thought, okay, now, now I'm definitely feeling like the pain from this sinus infection. So I've started taking it and it, I think it's been working, but this morning I've woken up with this weird pain here, which is great. Anyway, I want my breakfast now. So let's go have brekkie. Well, I'm going to go and pick it up <coughs> Excuse me. and come home. But that was my little health update. We just have to stay on top of things and being the hypochondriac that I am, I honestly feel like it's a Greek thing. Um, I have to like, if, if there's touch wood, an ailment or an issue or anything, I have to have it like checked out because otherwise I can't, like I can't exist. I fear the worst. It is fudge and freezing and I can only imagine how cold it is in the UK so I feel bad complaining but at the same time, here for Portugal it is cold. Brrr. Oh my god, stuck in my head is, hi, heels, one, my tip. Mm. Oh, no. I just had a good old boogie with Bay eating my pound late to FTCU. And whilst I may have thought that I was um vlogging part of it. 
well, maybe it's best that I, I actually wasn't. I hadn't pressed record. So you'll benefit. I'm so happy. Mm. Ew, that's disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna eat this off camera just because, like, I have no issue watching other people, like, eating and talking or whatever, but I feel like I look like a disgusting pig, so. Yas, see you at home. Look how nice the front door looks in the sunshine. Anyway, I'm home. The laundry. It's finished. Oh, crikey. Ah, crikey. No. Oh, no. No, no. The laundry was never started. Well, bravo, Lex. Nice one. So. How much we got in here? Quite a bit. I saw this TikTok. That put me on to the fact that you actually need a fraction of the detergent that you think that you need and instead of fabric softener because i agree fabric soft ugh, fabric softener is nasty and it coats your your clothing in like icky sticky shh. vinegar didn't mean to point but i use cleaning vinegar this one has a little bit of like a lemony scent but i just pop this in squirty skirt in my um in the fabric softener drawer and honestly it's life-changing it prolongs the wear of your clothes as opposed to destroying your clothes and making you need to buy more clothes which i, I believe is what this person was putting on or putting forward in this message that like it's all they tell you to use much more detergent than you need so that you obviously buy it quicker or need to buy it again quicker than if you were using a lot less um and also yeah fabric softener is no bueno so give it a try and see how you like it i really like it and i have not gone back and we have these lovely ladies that come and help us clean once a week because let me tell you it's just too much for me to do all of this by myself but i'm so proud of how like on top of it, I have been like, when I tell you this washroom was literally like mountains of clothes here and wash things. And I have literally got it to a point where, okay, over there it's a little bit messy-ish, but that's the odd socks bin. And then over there is like accumulated things. But this area, and there's like minimal laundry to do. So I am, Feeling very accomplished. So anyway, let's get this on before I have an ADHD brain fart. I have self-diagnosed ADHD. I mean, I've never had it diagnosed. Never been told by a professional, medical professional. But I think it's a little bit obvious that there is some form of uh, that going on here. Which I think, I mean, I think everyone mildly has ADHD, and unless obviously they don't. <laughs> now, why am I like this? I'm going to go put away the laundry upstairs that needs to be put away. And yes, we shall reconvene when I have some interesting things to share. I'm actually going to share some cool shit from my wardrobe because I feel like it's about damn time. And I've got time, a bit of time today. So I also want to jump in the shower, um, pre-travel day. I'm going to pop some Olaplex up in this thing, this mess, messy excuse of hair um, that I made Fabio help me trim yesterday because I got to a point where I was like, I can't deal with this fluffy shit anymore. So I'm excited to shower and blow dry it and see what we've done. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. It was like minimal because I'm so precious about my hair. Anyway, this is about to start making all of the noise. So, the babies. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys so much. 
my chunky little monkey Pablo. With, so he's got, I mentioned it before, but he's got Cushing's disease. I briefly mentioned it, which we've recently found out, which is why he's abnormally, no judgment, larger. And his head is so small. Um, so he's going to have to be medicated once we find out exactly what that is. I'm going to miss you, angels, so much. Alan's asleep on the sofa, as per. <gasps> babies, babies, baby, baby, babies, queen, my queen. I've had Olaplex in my hair for like 90 minutes and I look like a boiled rat. So I'm going to go and bathe. The kids are home, so it is mildly chaotic noise-wise in the background. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the fashion things that I've gotten in the last year that are some of my favorites and some standout things. Some of them are packed, so you'll see those in St. Moritz, but the others are here in front of me. And I did mention that I would talk about some fashiony things. So I've acquired some new handbags. This one's actually, this is one of my favorite handbags of all time. She's vintage. Um, I don't, this one might be slightly, I've had her for slightly longer than a year, but she is, uh, I mean, so stunning. From the swim collection, I believe, surf collection. I don't remember what year, but oh, I just love this one so much. My, oh, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this. Love her. Still on the Chanel front, I got this vintage baby bowling bag from this really cool German consignment store because, <clears throat> excuse me, it has to be EU based in order for me to not pay customs. So I don't know what's going on with my voice. I was like wheezing. Um, I don't have any pink bags and, well now I do, just love this, the sort of like Paris hilton -y vibes of this, the 90s vibes, so cute. A bag that you may or may, have not, may or may not have seen that I got this time last, this time last year in Switzerland is the This Louis Vuitton Alma, BB. Oh my goodness. It's Alexander, he's tormenting her. And Fabio's meant to be, you know. Oh my God, I feel like I'm still wheezing. Okay, love this bag so much. A lot of people hated this collection. I mean, I didn't love every bag in the collection. I didn't love every style of like every different style that they did, but this one in particular, as in this design and this shape, clearly is the one that I love the most because I bought it. I've closed the door, still hear the screaming. Next up, I got, well, this is in like no particular order, but I've always wanted a puzzle bag. I've always liked the puzzle bags, but was never quite able to justify the puzzle bag until I heard that they're discontinuing it, which may or may not be true, but listen, it's all that I needed to hear in order to take the plunge. Not once, but twice. I went for the mini because for me, it's the perfect size. I can fit everything I want in it, but it's also a great versatile day to night bag. I got these straps. I got this strap separately. It's also Loewe. This is in the caramel color, I think. It's not the classic tan or the classic brown. It's a little bit lighter, I believe, but I love this bag so much. She has a sister. Also the mini, so this one's in the like textured leather. This one's in the smooth leather. And I don't know if the color's coming off right, but I just love this so much. It's like an olivey green. It kind of changes color depending on what you're wearing. If you're wearing a navy, it kind of looks a bit more yellowy. Um, if you're wearing a beige, it kind of, or like a brown, it kind of looks a bit more greeny. Yeah, anyway, love this. And then went for, again, this strap that's sold separately for this one, because I think it just adds like a fun vibe to them. Love these bags so much. Highly recommend if you're thinking about it. The size up for me is still just a little bit too big. I don't know why, even though, you know, I don't know. These are perfect for me. 
Um, and then some fun bags I wanted to share. Not that these are not fun, but you'll know what I mean. I've loved the Paco Rabanne bags since I ever saw the first time I ever saw them. And then when I saw this gold one, I just had to. I'll be honest, it's not the most practical bag to use in that, well, it's just like open. So you kind of have to put your stuff in a pouch and hope that the pouch is small enough. I mean, it, she's beautiful. And it's more for like the effect, right? And then she also has a sister, but a slightly different sister. Now, I love the Fendi bags that are like this. But the thing, the thing that I don't love about the Fendi bags that are like this is the FF hardware has got this like glittery bit in the middle that to me looks like a child has filled it in with glittery nail polish. So also the price is alarming compared to this beauty, how stunning is she? Placo Rabanne. This one has a little leather pouch and a magnetic closure and then a long strap or a crossbody strap. Love this bird boy for the summer. And this is probably, well, this is definitely the most recent purchase of the bunch that I'm sharing. But, and it very much ties in with this Paco Rabanne um, bag. However, this is the H&M Raban collaboration. I was able to get my hands on a few things. I got a beanie, which I love, that is coming with me to St. Moritz. Um, but these are obviously, well, you'll see, when I say obviously, when you see them, it's more obvious that they are a summer shoe. Um, I just love them so much. Because... I mean, love her. If that isn't a jazzy pool slide, I don't know what is. Don't know how comfortable they're gonna be. I will cross that bridge, hopefully with these on my feet. But yeah, that's it in terms of my goodies to share with you today. A little collection update, if you will, of some of my more recent purchases and i'm excited to share the handbags that i've decided that i have decided to bring um to switzerland but they're all packed i will probably when i unpack share in my vlogmas which ones i decided to bring and why i have meticulously planned all of my outfits normally i don't do this i'll just think okay yeah that goes with that and that goes with that and I kind of vaguely plan them in my head and shove it, not shove it all in, but mentally shove it all in my suitcase. This time's different. I literally tried on outfit for outfit, put them all, I packed them in like their outfits. Does that make sense? Like I packed each outfit in little piles so that it's just like boom, one out. I don't even have to think about it because I don't think that I have the time, if I'm honest, like, I cut significant time and add a good amount of like getting ready time if I already know what I'm wearing. If I do the whole umming and ahhing in the wardrobe, oh my God, and sometimes I'll literally procrastinate for so long and get so frustrated at myself because the abundance of choice, however, the mental mind block that I will create for myself, especially if it's around an item I wanna wear, why do I do that? Does anybody else do that? I'll literally fixate on something like, oh, I really wanna wear that. And then style block, won't be able to figure out how to style for the like way that I'm feeling or whatever. And then, yeah, just create frustration for myself. Anyway, I'm going to tidy this up and head downstairs and help Fabio with the children. It is time to do the rest of the calendar. So the verdict came in and most of you guys said, just do it all. And as much as... I could wait and do it after. Um, yeah, I kind of just, well, Alexander did all of his and it was inspiring. <laughs> um, oh, honestly, I'm not used to these like bits. So I just don't really know what to do with them. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Because there may be things here that I wanna take with me, you know? And also, I just want to do it. So, 17, 18 is next. 18 is here. No, I'm good, thank you. Ooh, what's number 18? Oh, 
Oh, cool. See? See, I'm going to take this with me. It's a makeup sponge. Light to medium coverage. Real techniques. Awesome. Coverage? I love how it says solution for dull, tired skin. I'll be the judge of that. But yay! Okay, so that was today's. So tomorrow's. Oh, it's here. Number 19. It's the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration with Colloidal Oatmeal. Why was that so hard for me to read? Ooh. I wonder if this will be good for eczema. I think I've heard about this cream. Well, this again is really good for Switzerland because it is the land of dry skin. Well, for me, anyway. <laughs> I'm not saying that people in Switzerland have got dry skin, but for me, when I go to Switzerland, it is what happens to my skin, unfortunately. Okay, 20's here. It is a hyaluronic acid molecular boost eye cream. Also coming. 21, can you do something for me? Ooh, it looks like a lip product. Oh, it's not. It's by Ciate. I actually haven't used Ciate for such a long time. It's called Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer. I haven't been using a primer at the moment. So it's a tube, Dewy Primer with Vitamin C, Dragon Fruit and Yuzu. Interesting. Ooh. That's nice. Guess what? Coming with 22. Oh, back around. Twenty-two is oh the Coco and Eve hair mask. It's a good one. I like that. Okay. That was twenty-two. Twenty-three. 23. Ooh. The rituals? Yes. Relaxing body scrub. The ritual of Jing. Salt and magnesium. This is going to stay here because I do not need a scrub with me. That's more for the summer for me. Uh, what was that? 23. Oh, we're on to. Oh, we, we're on to Christmas Eve. 24 is a big draw. Eve Lom. It's the Rescue Repair. No, sorry, Rescue Mask. The other bit was in French. Okay. Has anyone used this? I mean, Eve Lom is quite like heavy. Don't know why I'm smelling it. But yes, number 24 is Eve Lom. Okay, we're at number 25. What could it be? Oh, it's bubble wrapped, whatever it is. Oh, it's big. It's big and it's bubble wrapped. Oh, it's a palette. It is the iconic London. Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. Well, that's a big palette. <laughs> you look intrigued. Look at that. Ooh. I don't really buy eyeshadow palettes, especially not like big ones. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. It's like all of the sort of nudie colors. We've got some mattes in the nude as a matte, ultimate tan. These are nice. I feel like, yeah, these are more summery kind of tones. Oh, wow. Shim shimmer. I'm really buttery. Let's try on that one. Oh, yeah, these are lovely. 
Yeah, oh, the gold one would be nice. And the champagne one. So the champagne chic. Can't really see. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you see? Oh, no. What am I doing? My goodness. Turn the lights on. But yeah, these are pretty. They are very glittery. I suppose they're quite New Year's Eve-y, some of them, but... Ooh, I really like... Okay, there's two colours on here called Wonderland and Girl Boss. I'll film the palette, like, in detail up close to the light, and those are really pretty. Well, that was fun. I'm definitely glad that I opened the rest because there's a good four products that I'm going to take with me. I'm going to leave four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to take... One, two, three, four. Wait, stop it. There's not only eight days left until Christmas. No, I'm 18, so. Christmas is on the 25th. Christmas is in a week? Yeah. <gasps> oh, sorry. Well. So, yes, I'm going to take the Dewy Skin, the Hyaluronic Molecular Boost Eye Cream. The Ultra Repair Cream, Colonial Oatmeal, and a sponge. And I'm going to leave the other bits. That is it from my Vlogmas for today. We have got a full-on day tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait to be up in the snowy mountains. And to take you guys with us. And celebrate Christmas with family. And all of the festive nice things. So, yes, thank you so much for watching up until now, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Ciao.